This album was uh, unique in my career in that I think it's the first time that I ever made an album without the conscious thought of I'm making an album. I just found myself recording. I just found myself writing and recording. And it wasn't until I had, I was probably six or seven songs into just playing around that I consciously thought, oh, I'm making an album. <laughs> um, you know, to be honest with you, I, prior, after the last album in, in 2014, I started to wonder what an album really meant for an artist like me. When I would look at new albums by artists of my age or my peers, I was generally seeing, even if, in having nothing to do with quality, I was generally seeing them not be very embraced. And part of that, I think, is just that pop music is for young people, you know? Um, and I get that totally. So it left me with this quandary of, I'm very happy to be touring all the time. I'm very happy with my body of work. But I still really love writing songs. And I really feel like um, a lot of what I'm creating these days sounds and feels modern to me, mainly because my influences are modern. And so I didn't want to just sort of dismiss it and sort of take my marbles and go home, you know, and just say, well, forget it. I'm just going to be a touring artist. So I went into it with just the love of writing and recording, with no expectation, no certainly no delusion of success from this new project. But um, it was very freeing because I didn't stick to any um, genre rules. I just wrote and recorded stuff that appealed to me and, and then narrowed it down into a collection of what I thought were the best songs. I don't know that this album is an evolution from the last one, because I think of evolution as being very forward. I don't know that I would say that. The last album, Beautiful Goodbye, was very consciously consistent. I wanted to make a really, really sexy record. I had written, you know, quite a few romantic, very romantic songs in my past, obviously. And kind of, it was a reflection of what was going on in my life. I was, when I made the Beautiful Goodbye album, I was single for the first time in my adult life, really. I was coming out of a very long marriage, and it was just strange to be uh, 50 years old and on my own. Um, and I was also, very soon after that, beginning a new love affair which became my marriage, my second marriage. And, and it was just a really uh, sexy time in my life. And, and I wanted to write about seduction and the dance between two people when they're circling each other and getting to know each other. And so um, both musically and lyrically, I wanted to make a really sexy album. So I, it's very consistent. This album is like everything from just fun guitar driven songs to really almost naked acoustic guitar ballads to a piano, to a song I wrote with Sarah Bareilles called Not in Love that is really naked, just piano and vocal. Um, there's sort of modern country elements to it. So I don't know that it's an evolution. It's just radically different than the last album. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote several songs on this album by myself, uh, as I have always done. In fact, the bulk of my albums usually contain songs I wrote alone. I collaborated more on this album, and I collaborated with um, people that, like Matt Scannell, for example, who's not only one of my closest friends, but uh, one of my heroes. You know, I think he's really one of the most talented people I've ever met. And we've written many songs together over the last 12, 13 years. 
and we're very comfortable with each other. We, we're really close friends. We finish each other's thoughts musically and lyrically. It's really fun to write with Matt because it's just effortless. But it's also very comfortable because we know each other so well. And there's value in that. But I also wanted to write with people that I didn't know that I wasn't comfortable with because it's really important to kick out of your comfort zone. So I wrote with um, a young singer-songwriter named Michael Jade. We wrote the song Limitless together and, and, uh, and we produced it together. I'd worked with Michael a little bit on the Beautiful Goodbye album, but not in to this capacity. And again, he's just somebody who I'm a fan of. I really love what he does. I think he's just really super talented. And so that was interesting. Um, writing with Sarah Bareilles, that song actually uh, happened a few years ago, but it was, um, we wrote a couple songs together in a span of two days. And we weren't really sure what we were writing for. She wasn't sure if she was even making an album. And so we wrote one song that's a nice song that was very um, sort of 50-50 collaboration that nothing ever really happened with. And right before she was leaving, she was we were at my house at the time, I told her, I, was, I said, I've had this ballad that I've been struggling with for a long time, struggling to finish. I have the bulk of it. I have what I think is the meat of it, you know? But I can't quite crack the code on the last verse. And so I played it for her, and she was like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. But it's done. You just need to, like, it's just a couple of lines that you need at the end. And I said, look, if you like it, if you're not just being nice and you like it, I, I would love you to just sit with it for a minute and see what happens. So within about 20 minutes, she just listened to it a couple of times and she closed her eyes and she started to say things. And she wrote the last verse, which is really, really powerful lyrically. And what she contributed, even though she says, I didn't really do anything. Yeah, you did. So um, I'm really grateful that, that we got to, uh, that people are going to get to hear something that I wrote with Sarah, because I'm a huge fan of hers too. Um, and uh, and the, the most important, or at least the most special collaboration to me is uh, I wrote two songs with my son Lucas, which he produced. And he also produced another song that I wrote with Matt Scannell. And working with Lucas on my record, especially having the first single get on the charts and do pretty well, um, you know, he's never had a song on the charts before. And he said, man, my first song on the charts and it's with my dad. How cool is that? You know, it's even cooler for me to collaborate with my son. And it's not about nepotism because he's just, again, one of the most talented people I know.